everyone it's Melissa today I'm going to do a video on the Diva Curl wavy transformation system so it's that system I bought them separately but it comes as a four-piece set with this being a smaller one in the set I just bought these separately and then went back later and got the big one um, because I wanted to try out and do the system exactly what it said. Uh, the Diva Curl is under the premise of the no poo or the low poo way of shampooing your hair. The no poo is where you don't use any shampoo. Well, actually, kind of the low poo is also. Uh, I think probably you are familiar with Win. That's a product of it. It's where you don't use shampoos. What you do or lathering agents you use. Um, Oh, I think it started out before people started using conditioners, they would use, uh, sometimes use baking soda to shampoo their hair. It's, they would wet it and then use the action to clean their hair and their scalp of actually rubbing. So they would use the baking soda and they would use apple cider vinegar and different ways. I'm not going to go into it a lot because I don't want this to be too long because I've tried to use this system three different ways and I want to make sure that I showed them all. I've, I've worked on it this week. So um, I'll leave, uh, put some links on what low poo and no poo is. But basically, uh, these are like cleansing conditioners. Uh, it's a conditioner where you, you know, you make your hair really, really conditioned and soft and you use the scrubbing action um, of your finger pads to really get your scalp and your hair clean. Uh, so it doesn't lather per se. It just gets sort of, not sudsy, but it gets real real creamy from the from the conditioner the low poo is a lighter conditioner and it's got one agent in it that doesn't really i think it's a uh, rice powder maybe that's it's for oilier hair it's for hair that is finer and and it's for wavy hair now i don't have curly hair i have wavy hair curly hair does the corkscrew thing i have a granddaughter that has very very curly hair wavy hair does like the s pattern and there's different degrees of wavies, waves and curls. And I will link the, I've been doing this since about 2007. Uh, oh gosh, I was on a plane to Seattle. My daughter lived in Seattle at the time. And there was this woman there with just the beautiful, most beautiful curls. And I said, what do you use on your hair? She said, I think she used the Diva Curl. But the lady that invented the Diva Curl, she was following her system. She told me about the No Poo system and told me about NaturallyCurly.com. So uh, if you are interested in learning a lot about this, you'll find great resources at NaturallyCurly.com. So I have done this three different ways. Uh, I did it the way the instructions say to do it. And I will put in the corner, one of the co corners here, of the different ways that, showing you how I did it. Uh, the first way I did it, I shampooed it, put in the wave maker, put in shampoo conditioner, put in the wave maker, and then put in the uh, light gel and let it dry naturally. And it took a long time to dry. The second way, I pinned it all up in a big scrunch overnight. And the third way, um, I, uh, I just did it. I, diffused it with a blow dryer and a diffuser this morning so uh you know be sure if you're interested like i said i have tried this off and on since about 2007. Uh, let me go on record and say i have not ever liked the no poo method my hair would get greasy it would get flat it would get plastered to my head i would have to shampoo it all the time i used a ton of the product because I kept trying to, you know, use more and more product to get it clean. So I did not care for it, but it has a big following and people that use WIN know what it feels like to do a no poo method. So uh, I would encourage you to learn more about it and go to naturallycurly.com. I have studied their uh, message board and their website. And like I said, I have worked on this and, and tried it for years and years off and on. So I I didn't have high expectations going into using the Diva Curl. I had never specifically tried their products. I had tried a ton of other curling products, but not specifically theirs. I even tried, a lot of people were using the, from Lush Cosmetics, using the shampoo bars. And uh, I used those for a while. Those did, they brought out the curl pretty, pretty well. 
but these are what I wanted to try the actual Diva Curl and uh, Diva Curl actually has a diff diffuser that has fingers in it and air comes out of it and I actually bought that at one time too and I was using it but I did not care for that at all I like to use a regular diffuser that goes on it cups and it's got you know little fingers type things in it you diffuse on the highest heat lowest air setting so you want it to really set without moving it around too much and you don't want to move your curls around too much when you're blow drying or when you let it dry naturally that's a little bit about the background and what the diva products are so i used them three ways the first way like i said i let it dry naturally so what i did was shampooed it conditioner put in the wave thing the gel then i took the diva towel and scrunched it let it dry so that way uh, I did not care for it because I felt like my my I felt like it was laying on my scalp. Um, I showed it to a few people. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. Uh, but I like my hair with a little more body, a little more oomph, a little more volume to it than that. I'm 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 just more of a big bigger hair girl, and uh, so I, I just didn't like the way it kind of laid flat on my scalp. And I felt like it did not bring out the wave very much either. I, it had some wave in it, but I just didn't feel like they were very well defined and I didn't think that they were very attractive waves. So I wasn't real happy with that. So that night, I shampooed my hair again, did the shampoo, the conditioner, and the wave maker, and then the gel. You do all those steps while they're wet. Then I did like that with the Diva towel, like that, you know, like, like I said, I don't think this is a Diva towel, but it might be. I've had it forever and I got it from naturallycurly.com, so it may be a Diva towel, but it's a, it's a microfiber towel or you can use a cotton, 100% cotton t-shirt, just something that's not a regular terry cloth because that will make your hair frizz. Uh, so I... I did that and then I piled it, I got all the moisture out and I piled it on top of my head and then I put clips in and I went to bed that night and then let it, you know, slept all night long and then when I took it down the next morning, I just scrunched out the crunch, that's what it's called, to scrunch out, that's just where you scrunch it, Where because when you first take it down, it's, or after you dry it, your curls with all the gel in it it's usually real crunchy so I scrunched out the crunch and uh, then you know went through the day I actually put something on Instagram a picture of myself saying that I was trying out the diva curl and did some Vista stories where I was a lot happier with it the fact that I was lifting it up away from my scalp and uh, letting it sit like that all night long into a big scrunch I think it defined the curl. I think it uh, gave me a lot of volume, and so I was much happier with it that way. The third way, this is the way I did it this morning. So I shampooed, conditioner, used the wave maker, and the light gel again, and then I scrunched it out. Then I did a plop, and a plop is where you put it, you wrap it up in a towel or a t-shirt, something that's just does not, that will absorb without uh, causing a lot of frizz. It, so it can't be terry cloth. It's gonna be like a microfiber type thing. So uh, you put it up in a big crunch and then you tie, tie it around and then tie the, uh, roll the ends toward the back and you let it sit anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. And that sort of gets the process going of setting the curl because it's all in a big crunch. Then I took it down and I blow dried my hair upside down with the diffuser, being careful not to touch my uh, touch it with my fingers when my hair was wet. You don't you want to tr try to avoid touching it when it's wet with your fingers as much as possible because uh, that will cause it to get frizzy. So um, I did that, and this is the way it turned out today. Okay, so I want to give my thoughts on it now. Um, my thoughts. Uh, I have pros and I have cons. I think it's a whole system that you really need to kind of use as a whole and stick with it. And it starts probably changing your hair, your scalp, 
and making your curls more defined and bringing out your curls more over time. Uh, since it doesn't have a lot of cleansing action in it, you have to get over a feeling that, that your hair doesn't really feel clean because it's not lathering a whole lot. So I had a problem with the shampooing. I just shampooed it three times and this bottle's about gone because I just kept pouring it on, trying to get a lather going. And I got a little bit of a lather going, but it was, I just didn't feel extremely clean. But you do get used to that feeling and you realize it's a different kind of clean. It's still clean, it's just you're, you're not using a sudsing suds agent. And that takes a little bit to get used to. And your hair does change and it can go through a period of time where it gets oilier and gets grosser looking. If you can get past that, then you will usually have very, very beautiful curls. Um, I just have a hard time getting past that. Another thing that was a, little, was a bit of a negative toward me was I like to, my hair sheds and I like to use like a nioxin type product. So um, I did feel like my hair, even just this past week using it, th doing it three times, started shedding more. And so that bothered me. I felt like I needed to get back on my nioxin shampoo, conditioner, and my treatment. Um, so I, I guess you could use it the treatment with this but I just kind of like when it's shedding a lot I like to use the whole system it seems to do a little bit better uh, because it gets that it really cleans out the the pores and the hair follicles on my scalp and so I like that uh, what I did notice here's some pros I did notice I don't know if you can tell or not but it made my hair I can tell in the light my hair was really shiny um, and feels really soft it feels really healthy so, um, you know, I, I enjoyed that. I thought that that was a real good thing. Um, I felt like the curl stayed well without getting curl, uh, without getting frizzy. So last night before I went to bed, uh, it was still pretty much looked the same as it did yesterday morning. Uh, I think yesterday morning when I got took it out from sleeping on it in the big scrunch and this morning when I diffused it diffused it were my favorite. I did not like like letting it dry naturally as much. For one thing, I don't have time. It took me like three hours for my hair to dry and I would have to get up very, very early to have it dry by eight o'clock when I left. So and it didn't look well enough to make it didn't look good enough to make that sacrifice. So that was kind of out for me. So I, I feel like I could use this with either diffusing it or shampooing it the night before and letting it dry naturally. So my final thoughts are the low poo is really, really good if you have wavy hair. If you want to get on it long term and make the commitment to get over any feeling of oiliness or dirtiness, I think it's worth giving it a shot, especially if you get the travel and try it a few times. Uh, I think that that's probably a good deal. I can't remember. I think the four items were the four items were forty dollars, I believe, because I believe each one is ten dollars a piece. Um, I think I got them at Ulta. I will look and see. I'm pretty sure I got them at Ulta. Or no, I might have got them on the naturally. You can get them on the naturally curl. I mean, on the Diva Curl website. I don't know. I'll, I'll look and see and link it down below. But the items you can get is a travel, and I would try that first. But if I wasn't worried about my extra shedding of my hair and I'm you know I'm getting healthy again from having my surgery so I'm trying to get my hair back on tra track with all the hair loss that I had while I was so sick then I would consider using the Diva Curl if I wanted my hair to stay curly all the time. I like to change my hair too much. I haven't made a commitment to wear it curly every day so that would be something that this, this would be something that I would not buy again because I don't want to make the commitment to do that. I usually, when I wear my hair curly, will just use, the, which I buy at the drugstore, the, I'll use a light gel from Aveda first and then follow it with a Garnier Fructose uh, Curl Construct. I think this product is really good. So uh, while it's very, very good, I don't think I would buy it again because I think it's a whole system that you probably need to make a commitment to, to
to wearing your hair curly and getting it in the proper condition, getting it cut the proper way, and it's just not something that I really want to do because I just like to wear my hair curly here and there. I don't like to wear it curly all the time. But it is a good system. I would probably give it a three, I would probably give it a four out of five stars. Uh, if I was, I would go on this system if I wasn't worried about uh, using my nioxin and if I wanted to make the commitment to wear my hair curly all the time I would use these products for sure uh, they're lightweight they hold well they don't get your hair as oily as the full no poo system does so I was pleased with it it's just not something that I want to make a full commitment to but it's good products and I give it a four out of five like I said so that is my review of the Diva Curl uh, Wave Transformation System. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. I've been spending the whole morning watching April the Giraffe have her baby calf. So that was, that was a lot of fun watching that baby calf. Poor April. I hope they don't. I hope they don't make her breed anymore. But thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in a couple of days, and I really appreciate it. Bye bye.